Now I'm going to tell you how to read this pattern, how to read these instructions, and how to determine what these fab fabric numbers are that you see here. The fabric numbers listed on the back of the pattern correspond to what the cover sheet is. And they list specific pattern numbers from the antique garage collection for, from Timeless Treasures. So if you don't want to have these fabrics, or you don't want to use these fabrics, how do you determine what you need? Or maybe you want to have different colorings in the, the Lone Star, or the, the, the border, or something else. You want to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to tell you how to decipher all this. And we're going to start on the back page. Now I've taken all of mine out of the sheet protectors because there's a glare. And we're going to look first at this little diagram here. The quilt is constructed in two, three groups. Group A is the center, the lone star. That's what we'll call it from in this workshop. And group B is the New York beauty block. And group C are the border units. I'm going to start with group C because it's the easiest one to, to understand. So if we look at my coloring, the coloring for the workshop, we see that group C has three different fabrics. And so let's go to page 10 and 11 of your instructions. Pages 10 and 11 of your instructions talk about group C. So let's just see what we have here. At the bottom of page 10, starting general information, foundation, papers, and templates, it doesn't say anywhere that this is group C, but this is group C that starts at the bottom of page 10. It starts off with the number of bags you'll need, and here you'll need four bags, and I've highlighted mine. So you, that's what you've probably marked your bags previously when you had the papers in it. So if you go to the top of the next page, let's zoom in just a little bit. We start with preparing the foundation papers, and then here are your NP papers that you've already cut up and put into the bags. So they're calling this the framed border fabric information here. If we look here, and this says fabric C1, and it tells you how to cut fabric C1. Step one, from fabric C1, cut five strips at three and a half by 42 inch strips. And this is going to be the pre-cutting, and we'll talk about that later. So if you go to the top, you'll see this is the swatch chart for group C, the group that we're talking about, the border. The templates and the units will be cut up and sewn with these three fabrics in this chart. Fabric C1, and it tells you here which templates you use to cut that up. Fabric C2 tells you the accent template. Fabric C3 tells you what what templates go with that fabric. It also tells you how much yardage you need for each fabric. And then there's a space for a fabric swatch that we're going to fill in in just a minute. Right under that is the color layout. And this is very important because the color layout shows you what you're going to be piecing. You see there are four different pieces here. And the colors, the fabric colors are listed. Fabric C1 is the the outside border, fabric C2 is the middle border, and fabric C3 is the inner border. So you know exactly where those fabrics are going. If we look back at our fabric chart from the cover page, let's look for fabric. Here's fabric C2. So this is fabric that went into the, that section, that little middle section of the border. We also see there's a fabric number S1, so that's for another unit. But you see that's the C2. If you go down here, you see C1. So that was used on the outer border. And you can check that by going back over here to the fabric C1. So what you're doing is mapping this fabric C2 is going here. 
to this fabric C2. This C1 fabric is going up here to C1. And then somewhere here, here is fabric C3 down here. And it goes in this area, the bottom, the inner border part. So there's what how you match these numbers on the back of the pattern to the numbers here. And also, always following that, the color layout, usually this fabric C1 is after the color layout, but they put it before. So you'll look at fabric C1 later on when we cut, and these is, this is the pre-cutting, and then it tells you how to cut fabric C1. Then it goes on to fabric C2, and it tells you from fabric C2 cut four strips, two and a half, two inches by 42 inches. And then it goes on and tells you how to cut. And if you turn it over, you'll see fabric C3 at the very top. So those are all the cutting instructions, but let's don't get ahead of ourselves right now. We're talking about fabric. So the best way to show you this is to compare it to the drawing we're using for the for this workshop. So if we look at our diagram, we'll see that fabric C1 is this polka dot, fabric C2 is the solid black, and fabric C3 is this star, multicolored star fabric. So what we'll do next, in the next video you'll see how to cut these swatch strips and this is what we're going to use them for. So my fabric C1 is this polka dot black, so I'm going to take the strip for the polka dot black, and I just need one, and I'm going to cut about an inch off and glue this in, glue this in the swatch chart area. So that goes there. Now we know that we have mapped this fabric matches our diagram and it matches the unit the color layout down here. So the next one fabric C2 is the solid black. So let's pull that. Let's cut the selvage off then cut a little bit less than an inch strip. Put some glue here and that goes there. And finally the fabric C3, which is the inner part of the border, is this multicolor star fabric. So let's cut a piece of that and let's put it on the swatch chart. Now we have completed our swatch chart and we've gone over our instructions for or where we find the information for group C, which is you go back to the outer to the last page you'll see that group C is here in the border. Now let's turn this over. Now I've, I've drawn and colored in here but we're, we'll get to that in just a minute. This is your line drawing. It's shown on page 15. You'll see that this drawing also has fabric C1, C2, and C3 listed here in the drawing. So you know exactly where those fabrics are. So if you had colored and, and you wanted to match that fabric, C1 was a different fabric, then you, you know which fabric is C1. Now let's go on to group B, which is the New York Beauty. And that's on page 7 and 8. So here's the New York Beauty, where it starts at the bottom of page 7, and here again it starts with the bags, tells you how many bags you're going to use. One bag will be for the left side and one bag will be for the right side. And then we turn it over to page 8, and we see here are our newsprint sheets that you've already cut up. And then here is our swatch chart and our color layout group color layout. You'll see it has fabric B1 is the background, fabric B2 are the spikes, and fabric B3 is inside the spikes. And they're all, all listed up here. So if we look again at this, 
at this one, you see the background, which is Fabric B1, is this light color. It's these stars. So let's take a swatch of that. And let's put that in our Fabric B1. And then we see that the spikes are Fabric B2. In our color layout, their fabric B2 is the spike, and that fabric is the solid black. I can't pick this up. Let me zoom this out. There you go. That fabric is the solid black for this one. So we glue the solid black here in fabric B2. And finally, fabric B3 for this one is the polka dot fabric. So let's get our little polka dots and put that there. Now those are for group B and group C. And if you look on page 15, your, your line drawing you see here we have fabric B, B1 is the background, fabric B2 is the spike, and fabric B1 is the center. So those are listed on there as well. Now let's just say we had several other groups and we, we've done our swatch charts for all of our groups. And what we're going to do next, if you want to, what you'll do is if you see here, you'll notice that the only fabric that's repeated here is the solid black. So here for group, group B, I need 5 eighths of a yard of the solid black. And here for group C, I need 1 quarter yard, which is 2 eighths. So here for the solid black, we need 5 eighths of a yard, or 20 inches. And here we need a quarter yard, which is 2 eighths of a yard. So you take and add these up. So 5 eighths plus 2 eighths is 7 eighths of a yard. And that's the minimum amount you'll need for that color fabric. Mm -hmm.